Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Card City Night. So I made a bit of an oops and started the battle without uh, starting the episode, but that's okay because all he said is, yeah, ready to face the best. So we're up against the biggest fan, and ooh, that's actually a pretty nice deck board. I might actually have to uh, steal that from him. Anyway, let's lead with Brick Brickpocalypse because that's a really good start. And it looks like he's got a bunch of like bizarre neutral revival cards, which might be interesting. Alright, so he's probably going to revive Jenny Bun pretty quick. How are we going to keep him in the hole? And I'm, I'm going to go with the pseudo unorthodox. I'd love to get Fish Bun Rider going. But if I can start just disabling his cards left and right, then we're in a better position than otherwise. Alright, so we've got two disables that we can lay down right now. Because, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I just used Fish Bun Rider, who's a new card, uh, new addition to our deck. And if used in an attack combo, she disables an additional card, which uh, fits very well with my general uh, deck scheme. And yeah, you know, he gets some revivals out, but we get more, which is the point. So what can we do in this situation? We can use Bob Ship. Not keen on that. I'm going to uh, I'm going to save Jenny Deer just in case he has like some revivals up his sleeve. We're going to use Bob Ship. Not keen on it, but I'm going to go with it. Because it looks like he's very heavy on the defense, and not so heavy on the anything else. Oh wow, he removed Diosa. That's a first. Well, whatever. We will disable him slowly. It may take time. It may hurt a little bit. It may be kind of a pain in the ass. But uh, we'll do it. And we'll do it effectively. So I'm going to get some health back and revive Fire Sword because we need it. And looks like he's actually got some pretty good combos that he's sending at us. But... As long as he's not... Oh, I guess I wasted EC for that one. Oh, well, had an extra in the wings, and if you notice, he's almost already out of cards. This is uh, why I just left Stack of Pancakes running instead of using it in a combo. Because that thing really wrecks people if left to its own devices. Ooh, Mark DX. Defense combo. R rotate all opponent cards. Well, that would be uh, just terrible, wouldn't it? We'll lay down our couple of cards that can't be rotated. Actually, come to think of it, he can't even use Mark DX anyway because, uh, he doesn't have anything to pair with it. He put it in a terrible spot, come to think of it anyway. Okay, so how are we doing? We are doing amazing. Because, I mean, he's about to lose. He's about to run out of cards, really. That's the main dig. So I guess we can put down Commander Rue just for the, I don't know, insult to injury method of just, I don't know, uh, take that fire sword. Don't care. I guess maybe he could have laid down, uh, Mr. Cluck? Hard to say. Doesn't matter. We win round number one. I'm, I have good, uh, good feeling about this round. So what do we got? We got Anti-Murray, who's a pretty good contender for lead cards. We'll start with him and Jenny Bun. Perfect. Attack. Take out Jenny Cat. With any luck. Uh, he's going to revive Jenny Cat, but that should give me some extra time. Maybe. So we'll start with Skull Bunny. Paranoid Fish. Huh. Well, that's a... Oh, actually, that worked out perfectly in our favor. So let's disable Paranoid Fish, because that's scary. He was he almost had a uh, offensive combo waiting for us, but he... Well, not an offensive combo. He almost revived combo Jenny Cat, which would have put us in a little bit of a pickle, but not that big of one. So I'm going to put down Jenny Bun just for a little bit extra health. And actually, come to think of it, he's a, he might actually rotate Jenny Bun, which would be kind of unfortunate. But actually, that's it's actually not going to be the end of the world if he does. Uh, is he gonna? It's not going to be a defensive combo. Why? Oh, it's because apparently, since Mark DX doesn't have any kind of symbol next to him, he doesn't count as a card for a combo. So you actually need a four combo here. And if you notice. None of these cards work with anything else, as, so as long as I say Disable Kwaku, we are golden. So, there we go. Uh, there's Fish Bun Rider, who I had earlier. I love the art for Fish Bun Rider, it's absolutely nonsensical looking. Amazing card, uh, either way. So what do we got? We got Brutus, eh, I'll just toss him here. Not even sure if it matters at this point. Yeah, we've got this one in the bag. So, uh, I can pretty much just do whatever the hell I want and succeed at it. So, I can put down another bird. I don't even know why I'm uh, bothering to think about this. I'll just put down another bird and I'll let it do, do its thing. Mainly because we just 
won the round straight out. This is um, this is very nice and I guess more not. It's like demoralizing is the opposite of blank, and the answer is you can't exactly say uh, it's moralizing because that almost seems like it gives me morals and then, I don't know semantics. Anyway, so we got Bob Ship. I'll toss that down just in case he has like some nasty ass rotation card. He doesn't, so we'll just uh, disable more of his cards, or he'll rotate a card and make me very unhappy. Oh well, tolerable. Uh, just put down Caractus. I, if I had put down Caractus, I actually would have been golden, but I didn't. So Jenny Bun, disable Jenny Cat, and now I'm actually going to put down EGDX, give us some health back, and uh, revive th some things. Anta Murray, Jenny Bun, disable Goddess of Explosions. We've got this in the bag. He's got a lot of rare cards, but that pretty much ain't got nothing on us, because his comboing is actually kind of... Ah. I accidentally clicked out of the window. I like to play games in windowed mode, because I've got a 25-inch TV as my main monitor. And that always makes things feel a little big, like I get kind of this odd cross-eyed look. So, I'm stalling for a time while I think about what to do next, even though I really don't need to, because I'm rocking him pretty hard. So we're gonna go with... I don't know, double Skull King, Caractus, and maybe I'll get something that points down? Maybe not. Uh, there we go. Easy. Thank you. So, what can I even do that needs to be done? I'll just disable Mark DX, just in case uh, we get to that point. And actually, if he did rotate all of our cards, come to think of it, that would be a beneficial thing right now. But he didn't, and... Wow. We win. Flawless victory, and we get a mystery booster, which are actually fairly rare. So we get regeneration, that looks neat. That looks cute. Anyway, uh, placement, plus one defense to owner, then remove this card. That's actually a really good card, I might throw that in. Uh, if only because I don't use a whole lot of defensive cards anymore. And it removes itself, and we get 200 coins, which is pretty impressive. Whoa! No way! You actually won? And I th thought you weren't ready for the card king. Here, it's yours. It's a Mark DX. Defense combo. Rota rotate all cards. I, I like the art for that one. It's kind of adorable, if weird, but still. As you can infer from the card description, make sure to play this when your opponent has many as many cards on on the as many cards on possible on their oh as many cards as possible on their board. Typo. I was like, I'm reading this wrong, and I have no idea why. And it turns out it's just because you know it's written wrong. But you know what? Considering this game is made by a bunch of dudes in the Netherlands, uh, I think we can give them a pass for that. So, whoop. all right, I'll go tell the TO the results. I don't even know what a TO is. Anyway, there's the mysterious turnip being uh, super creepy, and saying my research is complete. What was she watching our match? Duh. I wonder what Mysterious Lady was planning to do here. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Hey again, good news and bad news, I suppose. You won the tournament, so congrats, but there was a pretty low pro it's it was a pretty low profile event, so there's no ceremony or anything. Not even a prize, come to think of it. Guess I forgot to mention that when I asked you to enter. Ha ha ha. I probably should have given him more of a genuine laugh. Actually it could be a lady, come to think of it. She does have long hair. It's really hard to tell, but considering she has like zero chest, Androgyny wins the day today, as compared to the cheerleaders who have weird... Okay, enough about uh, cartoon boobs. Anyway, well whatever. I finally have all the legendaries, time to face the card king in the big chest casino. Oh yeah, before I forget, you can have my board. I'm building a new one anyway. Yes! I guess apparently you can't buy that board. You have to find it, which works perfectly for me. I just have to figure out how to uh, buy the board. Oh, right, you go through the, like, person marker. And just change it here. Fun fact, I haven't bought any other of the boards, but that's okay, I don't really care. So we got the Big Chest Casino, but considering this is a short episode, I want to see what's in here. Because I don't think I've ever been in here. At least, not to my knowledge. Oh, it's Little Dude's house! Okay. Hey, good to see you! Want some card-shaped snacks? Good lord, this kid. Make yourself at home. I don't have any chairs, so just crash in that pile of cards or something. Wow. Now this is a place. So, a little dude who has, you know, hence, uh, since quit competitive card battling, 
has become a hoarder and will, you know, soon be uh, appearing on a fairly, you know, odd episode of Hoarders where, you know, his love for children's card games has overflown and, you know, he barely lives in a house anymore. He has to actually swim to his bed because there are so many boosters. All right, enough theory crafting. Let's talk to him. Sorry, I know you came all the way here, but I can't think of anything to do. Maybe later. Well, that is wholly disappointing, but you know what? Considering we just uh, absolutely rolled the tournament and we have nothing else to do, I'm feeling pretty good about ourselves. So I'm going to head for the Big Chess Casino, and I guess we'll do that on the next episode of Card City Unites, because I like to keep everything nice and clean and organized, considering it's like, you know, minions, minions... Uh, one episode, minions, minions, next episode, more minions, third episode, fight the boss, and then go on from there. So, I'm rambling, I will see you guys on the next episode of Card City Nights, and we will take on the Big Chess Casino. As always, thanks for watching.